Yes. 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 Staying alive, Pichu. Staying alive. Staying alive. Good. Good. Staying alive. Good. 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 Mark. Good. Mark. Good. Stay alive. Separate the fish. Separate the fish. Good. 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 They know that. Um, nothing but love for the city, for the fans, and uh, for my, you know, old teammates and coaches. Did you feel? Did you feel they did everything they should have done to facilitate your growth? I'm not really gonna, you know, harp on the past. It, it is what it is. It's, it's in the past. Now I'm here now. So, like I said, I'm grateful to be here and uh, grateful to be a part of the city. From here, do you feel like you're a player that's still ascending and can still grow a lot? Uh, I know I am. I mean, 
I'm not the same quarterback as I was last year, and I'm not the same quarterback as I even was yesterday. So I'm, you know, going to continue to get better each and every day, and um, especially with the help of you know, Tom, our quarterback coach. He's he's smart, and you know, Matt Baker, he's, he's super smart too. And Russell, like I said, I'm just learning from all three of those guys, and um, having them by my side and having them getting better, getting me better each and every day, pushing me to be my best. I mean, I think I have a, a lot more room to grow, so I, I'm nowhere near my ceiling. Treat every practice, every game, every every warm up, every day as if you're getting prepared for the Super Bowl and, and, and it's and Super Bowl week. And so, you know, that's just kind of the mentality you got to have, you know. And so I think that even though it's OTAs, um, you know, that's the mentality that I think, you know, our team has. Plus, well, you have to get there. used to, uh, like, a whole new team and a lot of guys. Who are some of the guys that you've, like, leaned on to get to know first? Some of the guys you've gotten close closer to in your early days of the season? Yeah, obviously, the beginning of the whole process, obviously, Big Cam, Hayward, you know, obviously, uh, TJ, too, as well. We've known each other, played against each other several times. Minka, I love watching him and competing against him. He's just a tremendous player. Um, you know, there's also guys like uh, Big Queen, you know, just seeing him out here and his, and his being on the same field with him, the type of level of player that he is. Um, you know, watching GP out in the field today. Um, there's guys that have been working their tails off, like like Calvin Austin and his his ability to, he came out to San Diego train, Pat, Pat Fryer moved, same thing, Van Jefferson. These guys are dedicated to the game. Quez Watkins looks great. Just so many guys, Callaway I've played with um, before, you know, just different guys. And um, I'm excited about some, we're so young, and, and, but yet so talented. And I think that if we embrace the challenge every day, if we embrace the opportunity every day, uh, we can go places. And so it's going to be it's going to be a tough road um, and a tough challenge every day. And that, that's the good thing about us. What we love about the game. How do you feel about the chemistry on the field today with some of these, all these new guys for you? Yeah, I felt great about it. I think the chemistry was great. I think the guys were in and out of the huddle. They're working their butts off. Um, you know, we're going to get better as we go too. That's a good thing. And we got to keep keep that edge. You know, and I think that's really important along the way. And so. Um, I think the best thing was too is we get to go against one of the best defenses in the world, you know, every every day. So it's going to make us better. It's going to rise, you know, us on offense. We take, we look forward to that challenge every day. And uh, man, it's just a great team and great culture. How do you feel like you're going to be some of the characteristics of this offense? What do you hope for some of the characteristics of this offense? You know, I've been able to watch and and, and, and experience Coach Arthur Smith over the years and just uh, his knowledge of the game, uh, his knowledge of getting people in the right places at the right time. Uh, the physicality that he coaches with in terms of uh, having all of us players play with that mentality. Um, we're going to be able to run the ball downhill, obviously. You know, play action is going to be key. Um, I think just doing all the right things in the right moments. You know, situational football is everything. And uh, as, if we can do that as a collective uh, offense and defense and, and special teams, uh, we got a chance. And uh, I mean, that's all you ask for. Does it mean something to you at this stage in your career to invest in a young player's career like Justin Fields? Yeah, of course. I mean, I think Justin, I've, you know, Justin and I have known each other for the past several years, ever since he came in the NFL, really when he's at Ohio State. And uh, we've gotten to know each other. We used to text each other all the time and everything. It's now we're in the same room. So every day, you know, I'm trying to be my best so I can also show him and vice versa. And we're just uh, continuing to challenge one another, be the best version we can be uh, for this football team. And that's the great part about it. And so we got a lot of respect for guard. We've played against each other several times, too. So um, just uh, just lo love the process of it all. You mentioned your relationship with Cam. What was your reaction to him not being here today? Listen, I, I've been able to play in the league a long time. And, uh, you know, the, the reality is, is that if anybody's prepared, Cam Hayward's prepared. You know, this guy is uh, one of the, the best to ever do it at his position. Um, he's a guy that's experienced. I mean, you take all that experience and everything else, plus, you know, the family dynamics and, and uh, just the whole process. It's a business. Everybody knows that, and everybody goes through it, and it's a process. But uh, if anybody's been here, uh, even though he's not physically here, he's here in spirit every day with us. And that's what we love about him. And so we're going to support him no matter what. He's going to be ready to go. We know that about him. Uh, I know that about him playing against him. And uh, I'm, you know, I'm excited to get him back on the field whenever that time is right. Do you view this as a competition? Or how do you view kind of your role, and how do you establish your leadership? At this yeah, I think every day you look at it to be the best version of you. I think that's that's always a competition internally, and then then you're always competing against the other you know 31 other teams, you know, and then um, you know, and so I think that you know you step on the field with that mentality. I, you know, nothing should ever change. So I think that's the that's how I've always looked at it, and that's the part I embrace. Russ, how much input are you going to have with this offense? Yeah, I think a lot. I think that obviously uh, Coach Arthur Smith and I we share a lot of the you know, similarities. A lot of experiences, um, you know, a lot to prove, a lot to show, a lot to do, a lot to accomplish. Um, he's got big desires. I do too. Uh, we do it too as a team. You know, we're all in this thing together. So uh, knowledge is everything, you know, to be understand what we're trying to do, how we're trying to get there, and do it the best way and the most efficient way possible. Um, how do you view this opportunity? Do you look at it as a, as a chance to start? Do you look at it as a, as a home for one year? How do you view yeah, this? Yeah, I think it's both. Um, I mean, to be honest, I'm taking it day by day. Um, uh, 
uh, I'm, I'm definitely, you know, competing. I think, you know, Russ knows that. Uh, we're competing against each other every day. Him being out there for me, that, you know, helps me get better. Uh, us pushing each other. So, um, I mean, I definitely don't have the mindset of, you know, me just, you know, sitting all year. So, um, you know, I'm coming in every day, giving it all I got. And, you know, pushing him to be his best, and he's you know pushing me to be my best each and every day. So I appreciate that. So you two had a relationship be before this. Yeah. Is it kind of does this kind of help a grow down strong the same team? Uh, I mean, yeah. Um, you know, the first time I ever talked to Russell was when I was in college. So you know, we've 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 known each other uh, for for a good bit now, and uh, the fact that I get to you know learn stuff from him, you know, the, the the things that he's accomplished, you know, up to this point in his career, has been great. So um, just me learning just the little details, how he's so. Uh, meticulous and detailed within every rep, every individual drill. Um, it just kind of makes me think, like, you know, that's what I should be doing each and every time. So uh, I'm, I'm glad to have him here and glad to you know, be able to learn from him. Justin, how do you look back on the time? Uh, how so, you doing? <laughs> doing good. You say what? How do you look back on the time in Chicago? Yeah. Uh, I mean, there was a lot of ups and downs, but uh, all in all, I appreciate every relationship that I built. Um, all my teammates, they know that. Um, nothing but love for the city, for the fans, and uh, for my, you know, old teammates and coaches. Did you, feel, did you feel they did everything they should have done to facilitate your growth? I'm not really going to, you know, harp on the past. It, it is what it is. It's, it's in the past. Now I'm here now. So, like I said, I'm grateful to be here and uh, grateful to be a part of this team. When you find out that you're training at 10 o'clock local time, I mean, are you able to sleep that night? Are you on the phone? What kind of happens after you get that news? I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, I've been dealing with, you know, people for, you know, a long time. So, in my exit meeting, you know, we were in the same situation last year with the, having the number one pick, and it was just a little bit different this year. So, I mean, I'm not, I'm not naive to the fact that you know I can read body language and stuff like that. So, it wasn't really just a shock to where it's like, oh, I got traded. Like, I, I, I knew what was going to happen beforehand. So, um, I'm just glad I got you know traded to the spot that I wanted to be at. So, was yeah, Justin, speaking of that, I was, was it a relief to, to get the news? That yeah, it happened. I think so. I think when you're just you know waiting because. I knew I was going to get traded, you know, at the end of the day. That's that's just what it was. So it was just, you know, uh, just me waiting and, you know, me, you know, trying to figure out where I'm going to be at and uh, stuff like that. It was definitely a relief to, you know, um, kind of be on a team and uh, know where I'm going to be at. So. Justin, How about being you traded into a, a really good situation? Because you could have gone a yeah. lot of places. Yeah, I mean, you know, shout out to, uh, uh, you know, Pose. He, he, you know, we, we communicated. To, to him, you know, through my agent, and you know, I told him where I wanted to be, and this was the place I wanted to be. So, um, you know, he, uh, you know, honored that, and I appreciate him for that, and uh, glad he was uh, able to put me in the spot where, where I wanted to be at. What needs to go right for you to become the guy that you, know, you kind of envisioned when you came out in the first round? I mean, you said what needs to go right? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I know you're going to put the work in, but you're in a good spot. And, uh, what are the little things that you think it's going to take to get you to become the guy that we all kind of? I think me, I just got to you know keep working every day. Um, like I said before, just being detailed in every drill, not taking a day off, and um, it's good having Russ here, learning from him, um, us pushing each other each and every day. So, um, you know, I think just controlling what I can control every time I step on the field, um, you know, just just ball out and uh, play to the best of my abilities, and you know, let 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 God handle the rest. So, what guy has been on the team has been helpful to you or closest to you as far as getting used to the team, the organization, the plays, just all working in practice? Yeah, I mean. Uh, this is a new offense, so nobody really has been in the offense before. But I mean, there's a lot of young guys on the team, so um, I think just that fact right there, it's easier to communicate with people and kind of just, you know, kind of just build that relationship because you have so much in common already. So I've already uh, hung out with a handful of guys on the team, I already built those relationships, and you know, we're just gonna continue to grow, get closer with each other, and uh, you know, ready, ready to uh, get to play in the season. So. Justin, what was it about this team, this situation, that appealed to you? Uh, just the culture. Um, I really think at Ohio State, um, I think there was a video that dropped with you know, Coach C. I, I can just you know, feel the energy and just you know, just the consistency throughout the years and um, the culture that Coach T has and just the standard that you know, the Steelers have, have set, this organization has set. So um, I think that was the biggest appeal for me. And, um, you know, our defense is always you know, going to top tier. You can't, you can't win games without defense. So, um, yeah, just, just the culture, Coach T, and, uh, you know, of course, the – Team itself, so. It wasn't an issue that it was a situation where they had, like, literally days before had gotten a guy that they said this is going to be our starter. No, nah, I mean, I wanted to come here before Russ got here and after too. So um, it was it was more so the team not you know not worried about who was here, yeah. none of that. Stuff, so, yeah. What were your first thoughts of Pittsburgh when you got here? The actual city, the people. I mean, yeah. Uh, I will say this. I think Pittsburgh has one of the or has a lot of nice people. That's one thing I've noticed. Like I've taken a few Ubers to the airport and I've had full 30 minute conversation with the Uber, Uber driver. So um, 
yeah, just just people, uh, you know, their generosity, their their niceness. I'm going out, and people don't even know who I am. They're just being so nice to me. So I think that's one thing I've noticed. And then I started going on walks uh, this past off season. So just the different views of the city, the bridges and stuff like that, um, is, is is pretty cool to me. So. Justin, I know the offense is new, which is day one. But from what you've learned so far, how do you feel like Arthur Smith's offense is going to fit your skill set? Some of the things you do well. I mean, yeah, I think. Uh, you know, he's, he's had experience with, you know, dual threat quarterbacks, a lot of quarterbacks in the past, Ryan, Marcus, of course, Desmond and Tyler in the past past few years. So, um, you know, he knows how to play to his player's strengths. And, um, you know, of course, he's new here, too. So he's got to figure out, you know, what guys do, uh, what things the best way. And, uh, you know, we're just going to keep building and getting better every day. But I definitely, you know, trust him to, you know, put everybody in the right spot to uh, have as much success as possible. So. You, mentioned that, you mentioned that after Steelers signed, you still wanted to come here. But did yeah. you think that that door might be shut because they signed Russell and at that point they still had Kenny here? Yeah, I, I definitely, with, with Kenny still here and then Russell here, I, I definitely thought the door was shut, so I didn't know, um, you know where I was going to end up at that point. But kind of my, my agent kind of gave me a, a, a heads up a couple of days before that Kenny you know, might be getting traded. So kind of when I heard that and then I actually saw it happen in real time then I kind of you know knew kind of where I was going at that point. So. Now that you get the restart. Last one. Now that you get the restart, where do you see yourself going from here? Do you feel like you're a player that's still ascending and can still grow a lot? Oh, I know I am. I mean, I you appreciate you guys. Uh, it just didn't start today. Um, those guys have been really good in terms of their participation and engagement. It's been fun process. It's been a fun process to get to know them, and 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 really the the way that you get to know someone professionally is to is to share experiences. And so, um, the things that we're doing out here are critical to the get to know. What do you like about the way that Justin and Russell are working together and with the receivers and their teammates? They're professionals, and so. Um, I'm excited about that, but I'm not surprised by it. Um, there's an expectation there. Um, both guys have been franchise-like guys, if you will. They get, they've get they gotten out of their cars in the morning and worn the responsibility uh, of being that guy for a franchise. And so, um, you know, there's residual benefit for, from that. Um, and, and so I'm excited about us receiving it. Speaking of the uh, receivers, you asked about them, the collective that you've got there, and what do you think of that how it's been assembled and could you still add to us? You know, I'm, I'm pleased with the work that we're getting from that group. Um, I like the overall trajectory of it. We got some young and developing players, some guys that are, uh, sh that are excited about showing what they're capable of. Um, but, you know, we're always open to, to add not only to that group, but any group. Um, that is our mentality, but I'd imagine that that's the mentality of those that we compete against as well. Uh, we're continually trying to get better in all areas. Mike, what's your reaction to Cam? You know, um, I'm not overly concerned, to be quite honest with you. Um, Cam's a guy with over 10,000 plus career snaps. Um, it's a probably an easier day for me with him not being here. Uh, I thin the lines out and get to know some people that I, that I know less than him. Obviously, I know Cam very well. We've shared a lot of experiences over the years. Uh, but he and I talk often. As a matter of fact, we talked twice yesterday. Um, but that's not an irregular thing. That's what we always do. Talk about not only where he is and what's going on with him, uh, but where this team is. Because as a leader, uh, he needs information uh, in that regard.